African finance ministers who form the bulk of the Board of Governors of the African Development Bank have been asked by the U.S. government, which is seeking a rejection of the report of the Ethics Committee that investigated and cleared the institution's head, Akinwumi Adeshina. Treasury Secretary Stephen Munching, in a two-page letter dated May 22, asked the continent's biggest multilateral lender to set aside its Ethics Committee report, exonerating Adeshina from accusations by an anonymous group within the AFDB claiming favoritism in Nigerian appointments and waste of the bank's resources. Some individuals who have worked closely with the AFDB president have, however, spoken of their encounter with him. Earlier, Plus TV Africa spoke with Ada Osakwe, CEO, AgroLay Ventures. Now for him, it was always the greater good of Nigeria and how can we transform agriculture in the right way. It's almost like he has a deep resolve to ensure that in this his lifetime, that Africa would, would feed itself. I think, you know, one of the other key pieces that I, I, I in working with him, I was just absolutely amazed by was his selflessness. I think as uh, Ada highlighted, what was most important to him was the caliber of the individuals that he worked with. He didn't care where you came from. He didn't care uh, 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 multiple different things. But most importantly, he was committed to the idea of talented individuals who could come and add value to be able to execute the vision for the agricultural transformation that he needed. So I'd like to know if at any point in time you observed how he handled situations regarding illegalities or corruption, either while he worked as the minister or um, at the AFDB? Um, great question. So he would return gifts or anything. So very quickly, people knew that he was not that type of person. And that's the man that I, I got to know and I got to enjoy working with. Highest form of integrity. You know, when you are a person of such high integrity, I think people realize very quickly they don't even attempt to uh, to compromise you. So they just know it's not going to it's not going to have any uh, it's not going to be successful. Man that I would describe as a visionary, um, like all of them said, he's inspirational. He's passionate. He loves Africa and he loves waking people up. I mean that that's what he did. That's what he did for me on a personal.